Hmm. Alright, is there any chance you have anything a little larger? Well met, Knights of the Order. I'm Yolanda Rance, this is Muscle and Magica, and you, my friend, that's what I thought. Get on out of here. That's right, you wait for my request. Apparently, I've unlocked a new title, and I mean, the comment did get like six thumbs up, so. <laughs> I'm sorry? What do you mean you can tell from the screenshot that one of the thumbs up is mine? What do you mean this isn't a hat that an emperor would wear? You don't know what kind of emperor I am. What do you mean you can't take me seriously if I wear this hat for the remainder of the video? Alright, fine. Today I just want to say a very quick word about gearing yourself for the gym, and a big thank you to Brother Pete over on the Facebook page for suggesting this topic. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to tell you to go out and buy Olympic weightlifting shoes or tell you what kind of belt you should wear or whether or not you should use straps. Instead, I'm simply going to present you with a little bit of anecdotal evidence. Personally, I tend to perform best in a game when I actually give a crap about my character. And part of giving a crap about my character is, he needs to look good. He needs to look like a good representation of me in the virtual world. He should be a somewhat idealized version of myself online. And it's really no different in the gym. I mean, when I walk up to that bar and I look in the mirror, I need for the guy looking back at me to, first of all, not look like he was just taken through character creation by a five-year-old, and second of all, look like he can actually handle the weight that he's about to lift, because if he can't handle the weight that he's about to lift, I can't handle the weight that I'm about to lift. Basically, this means two very simple things. Number one, I need to look respectable, okay? I made it to the gym, so I'm at least level five, so I can afford to go ahead and unequip the sack cloth armor that I started the game in and wear something a little bit nicer. My general rule of thumb is I like to wear something that has no more holes than necessary to fit my arms and legs and various appendages through. The other thing is, as a relatively small guy who barely looks like he lifts on YouTube, looks even less like he lifts in real life, I like to go with form-fitting clothes. Okay, who keeps messing with my equipment slots? As I was saying, I like to wear relatively form-fitting clothes because it makes me look like I actually put a few points into strength. I have something of an Altmer physique, so I don't need to be wearing double XL orcish heavy armor. And likewise, if you're an orcish berserker, you don't necessarily need to be wearing two times too small wood elf light armor. But look, I'm not your father. I'm not your father. I can't tell you how to live your life. Just keep in mind that if you train at a commercial gym like I do, you have the power to potentially enhance or subtract from the immersion of the other players within the gym. And a good way to subtract from their immersion is to wear glass armor or compression gear when you have the physique of a slowed. But ultimately, it's not about impressing the people around you. It's about you and the guy or girl in the mirror. And the guy or girl in the mirror should be your ally, not your enemy. Because if they become your enemy, well, then you've got to Water Temple Dark Link situation on your hands, and I wish you the best of luck with that, my friend. Anyway, I hope you- would you stop? I hope you gained some experience points from this video. If you leveled up, then don't forget to like the video, and until next time, stay vigilant, Knights of the Order. You lot of rants? Log it out. You're on your honor. Don't press your luck. Hmm, <laughs>